Ooh we all right, let's do this. What's up, y'all? This is taking you along on the ride for me with one of my favorite chest exercises. This is the dumbbell fly. Now, I know that nowadays you're a lot of people telling you not to do the dumbbell fly, cables are better, yada, yada, vice versa, whatever. Um, I'm telling you what works well for me and what's built my chest over the years. Um, I love the dumbbell fly. I love the stretch you get at the bottom. Um, I love the range of motion I get out of this movement. And I just love the tension and the feel I get on the chest muscles as I'm doing this movement. I, I like to do this one with a moderate weight that I can get about 10 reps with, eight to 10 maybe, around in that rep range. So fairly heavy. Um, love this one. We're gonna go through it right now. Message I'm gonna tie into this movement uh, that will go really well with this is doing things your way. Um, and that's in the gym and in life. You know, do things that are gonna work well for you. Um, a lot of people nowadays, I've noticed that are trying to sort of impress people around them um, and trying to get people to maybe like what they're doing or doing things to see what the reaction of someone else is gonna be. And um, forget all that. Um, do things that work well for you and be willing to do the work to find out what those things are. Don't let anybody on social media, including myself, tell you what exercises are best for you. Be willing to put the work in and find out what works well for you and have the confidence, the confidence and the resilience to see it through on your own. Okay, because we don't have enough people thinking for themselves nowadays. Don't let people think for you. So uh, on that regard, let's get into some uh, dumbbell flies. Um, kick these dumbbells back into positions, better for your shoulders. One, two, start them up here in this fixed position. Just gonna start them over your shoulders. Tighten up your chest, flex the chest muscles, slowly open them up like you're drawing a semicircle or opening a door. And then you're gonna pull them both together using the pec muscles. So again, over the chest, gonna open the chest up. This is why I love the stretch, this range of motion you get and pull them back together. We're gonna get a full set in here now. This is 35 pounds, so it's not really super heavy. <clears throat> but it's enough for, the, for this now. I did my chest earlier, so I'm gonna get a full set in here. <clears throat> so again, take your time on that eccentric. Get that stretch in, come to that stop, and pull them back together. So I've only done a few reps here, and I can already feel this. That chest is burning already working well, it's not always about the weight it's about the technique and the tempo of the movement inhale as you open them up exhale pull it back together let's do that again inhale exhale oh yeah well, I can feel that already inhale exhale inhale Exhale. So again, that's the dumbbell fly. So this one is great for building the chest, particularly getting into the upper chest. So this is where, right here at the top, you got that shirt unbuttoned a little bit. You wanna show those pectoral muscles off. Dumbbell fly um, is the way to go. Cable flies are great. The pec deck machine is great. But if you want the chest to pop, get with the dumbbells. Dumbbells have been around for a long time for a reason, because they work. If you notice all the machines you see in the gym, the dumbbells and barbells are the ones that have been around the longest. Never had, they haven't changed much. So dumbbell fly if you wanna blow that chest up. Three to four sets of eight to 10 reps is enough to get it done. And make sure that last rep is hard to do.